From Palomino, we went back to Santa Marta, from which we took a day trip to the Minca waterfalls. Uh, Minca is a little village high in the mountains, about one hour from Santa Marta. And from there you go to see the beautiful waterfalls. We went up by motor taxi, uh, through stick and stones, through rivers, through paddle holes, over rocks and everything. Quite a way we went there. But the Marinka waterfall was well worth all this difficult way. So we found this port. This we found next to the beach. They were swept with the river to the beach. And this is the climber that is on the big trees where it comes from. Mm. It comes first out of this uh, kind of uh, hard shell. And it's in a super hard shell. Beautiful, huh? Here there's one more inside here. Mm. Yes, they can float in the sea for years because they, uh, they are waterproof and they are so hard. And then after many years, if they find a good place next to a river with enough water, they can sprout. It's raining, raining in Colombia. And we are soaking wet. We found some shelter from the rain. So we are fully soaked. And we still have about uh, 20 minutes to go to the town where we take the, the bus back to uh, Santa Marta. Uh, but so far it looks like we're going to be stuck here for a while. Because uh, this rain is not going to stop anytime soon. Finally the rain got less and we made it back to the Minca village and drove back to Santa Marta. From there we took the bus to Cartagena, which is a beautiful colonial town with lots of history. Castle of San Philip in Cartagena. Inside the tunnels of San Felipe, and uh, <laughs> it's very claustrophobic here. We are in the San Felipe castle in Cartagena. Uh, 
this this castle is very old, built in the 16th century by the Spanish. It's uh, from the colonial time, one of the first uh, cities and castles in uh, in America, and it was built originally against the pirates, which were a huge problem of those days. So you can see the fortified walls around us and uh, the cannon did the job. <laughs> San Felipe Castle! Top of the castle! <laughs> streets of Cartagena uh, it has a super top decoration with the flag of uh, Colombia and there's lots of artisans here next to the clock tower, the entrance of the world city of Cartagena. the house is another corner with a house with a this lamp into the this little lamp that's one street so one street considered like a more short street in Cartagena You like it? Looks like a potato. We are in Rincon del Mar, it's a small uh, fisherman village here on the uh, Caribbean coast and we just arrived to our guest house, you see, 
there's a great view behind me and uh, it looks like a very cool spot to chill out and also uh, possibly to head to one of the islands that are just in front of the coast. But they don't have a real It's almost, almost. We walked along the beautiful beach of Rincon del Mar and uh, after some time we got to places where there's driftwood coming in and they use the driftwood for all kinds of different purposes, some for construction, some for burning and it's very beautiful along there. Also sometimes coconuts come in and other plants. What I caught, I don't know what it is. That afternoon we took a boat ride to the um, bird island and to see the illuminous plankton. Unfortunately you cannot see because it was too dark to shoot. But what you will see is the jumpy boat ride to that island and the many birds that uh, go there every night to rest. Just off the shore of Rincón del Mar, there are some tiny Caribbean islands, the major of them being Ila Tintipan. So we couldn't resist the temptation to spend a night on a Caribbean island as part of our round the world adventure. Checking the dock in the island of Tintipan and it's not so busy today. Uh, we can see over there the small tiny island where the, actually the working people of this uh, resort are living. Uh, and otherwise we can see the mangroves 
and the next resort which looks a little bit abundant and behind me is our resort uh, they don't call themselves a resort it's like a echo hotel but uh, yeah this is what it is budget resort this looks to be our lunch langosta <laughs> a giant lobster is called langosta here and and here they go into the pit where they wait for until dinner to be prepared Oi. Wait. I how to do it. <laughs> Sorry, we fell down. Do we have something to for the club? Going to the corals. Let's go to the corals. We are in the mangrove on the island. We just had a snorkel tour in the mangrove, which you cannot see. But just imagine under each one of these woods, there's a whole life shells and the algae and corals. And uh, it was fantastic. I'm going to show it to you underwater. Coming up. We are in the open sea aquarium and uh, there are lots of fish here and even uh, some kind of a shark that uh, this guy is demonstrating to us. You can see many fish here and uh, wow, amazing, here's Bridget. Turtles and other kind of fish. It's a Caribbean crocodile. We are leaving the island Tintipan. 
You have to leave, but you have to go. Ciao! Bye bye!